Hi, I'm back for another video. We are doing looks for the uh, Tarte for True Blood palette. And today we are doing Not Your Average Waitress. This is the look. And I have already completed one eye. So we're going to attempt to try to get this done on the other eye. I have already primed my lid with the um, Lifted Natural Eye Primer with Fermital. This one says True Blood, but you, you know, it, it's just the packaging. It's the same... Um, like if you have that already in your makeup collection, you don't need to go out and buy another one. And um, the first color we're going to be using is called Dusk. It is this one right here. And um, if you don't have these colors exactly, like if you don't have the palette, that's fine. You can just work with similar colors. I'm going to take the MAC 239. And again, I've already primed my eyelid. And it says to... Um, sweep a wash of dusk all over the entire lid it's kind of a like a matte warm taupe color so anything similar as long as it's matte it'll look fine like so first we're gonna put on the basic shape and I do a lot of my videos for Asian eyelids or smaller eyelids and what you want to do is just find where your crease would be which is if you push in, you will fill your brow bone, and that's where you stop. That's your crease. And since I got that basic shape, I'm going to be adding a little bit more. And I find with this color in this palette, although it is a pretty color, it doesn't show up as well as the other ones do. And I think it's because it's so similar to the color of my skin, so... If you are lighter than me or darker than me, the color should show up just fine. But for the sake of the video and the little demonstrate are the um, instructions that came with the palette by the makeup artist, I am using the colors that they recommend. I might tweak it a little bit or change the looks a little bit, but I'm basically telling you as I'm doing the makeup. What I'm changing, what I'm not. It says the next step is to apply a waitress. Um, it's a shimmering pink champagne color. Again, another easy color to find. And we're going to use the MAC 220, 222. And it is this one right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of it on the brush. And we are going to put it in the crease, blending upward towards the brow bone. So right where you ended with your color just kind of go over and under it just a little bit like so try to create that more rounded shape with this and keep blending Normally when I do my shadow, I do both eyes at the same time, but for the sake of cutting down time on the videos, I um, do one eye first, for those of you who are curious, and um, that's why it takes a little while, because I'm trying to match them up and make sure they're as even as possible. And then it says, um, create a wash of smoldering color all around the eye, blending the color well werewolf, which is a chocolate matte, into the outer crease. Uh, and over the lash line because I have so little upper eyelids I am gonna go over the top lash line but I'm only gonna to go to about there and the color is um, the matte brown right here I'm using a Clinique crease brush um, because it's smaller and it works better for my eye and this color shows up really well so you only need a little bit and you want to create the V. See, a little bit of this color goes a long way. You see how I'm kind of defining that outer corner? And then I'm just going to take it in about halfway. And then you go under the lower lash line. Kind of just put it together. It doesn't say to do that in the directions, but I think it makes it look better. If you want, you could just stick with the outer V, or you can go under. And I'm going to make take the MAC 224 and kind of just blend it out so it doesn't look like a harsh line. And if you blend too much out, you can always go back and 
apply a little bit more to deepen up the color. See how it faded a little bit? I took a little bit too much off, so you just go back in with a little bit more. I'm barely tapping the color. And you want to try to match it up as close as you can. Try to get in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. And then it says to use the um, the gel eyeliner that came with it, but I find that it makes just a little bit too thick of a line for this look. I want more of a thin eyeliner on top, so I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay. If you have a bigger lid, go ahead and use this, but I find that I can get a finer point with the liquid eyeliner, so that's what I'm going to use. And I like to start... Hopefully you can see what I'm doing by just making a thin line. Like that. Just barely tapping it in. You want to get as close to the lash line as possible. And then you can just barely thicken it out at the end. Because you don't want too much of a wing. Okay, it's a little uneven. And then I am also going to take a eyeliner on the bottom and you want to join it at the edge sticking with the outer V and then just take it outward. You don't want to apply too much. You don't want a really heavy liner look. And then I like to tight line which is get underneath the lashes like so, just to create a darker, um, a darker lash line. And then we are going to add in the mascara. I'm using two. I'm using the Glam Eyes, Rimmel Glam Eyes first, and then I'm going to be using the True Blow one afterwards because I find this makes it a little more volumizing than the other one if you do this first. Then we're just going to let that sit for a little bit. Um, that's all it says for the directions, but I am going to go a step further and since I do not like just a plain like skin color right here, I'm going to take um, a a less shimmery shadow. So this first one right here, it's the lightest. Just a little bit on the MAC 224. And I'm going to apply it as a highlight color. I already did this to the other side because I think it just tops the look off and makes it look a little more neat and blends everything together. And then you can go back with your second coat. This time I'm going to be using the Tarte for True Blood. I do like this mascara, but it's not volumizing enough for me. And it's also not as lengthening unless you have another mascara under or a primer. And then I find it works perfectly, but it's like that with a lot of mascaras. I am constantly using two different types of mascaras on my lashes and it's just the type of lash I have some ladies have long beautiful lashes and some have major difficulties and I'm the one 
with the major difficulties. And this is the completed look. I know it's really natural, but it's basically matte browns. It's kind of like, you'll see a lot of the waitresses use this if you watch True Blood, a specific look. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.